Inside the red brick building on the 3rd Avenue side of Marshall's campus lies a treasure trove of knowledge. Built in 1930, Morrow Library has been a mainstay of Marshall University since its conception and contains thousands and thousands of books and documents. Accessible from the inside of campus, the library services can be found on the second floor of the building where one can find a variety of research material and study spaces. My favorite aspect of Morrow Library is probably the environment. You know, it's, it's quiet, it's, um, it's well lit, it's comfortable, there's lots of space, and, and everybody's very welcoming. Morrow has an extensive collection of unique and local documents, including yearbooks, scrapbooks, and personal letters that cannot be found anywhere else in the world. One of my favorite collections is a, a Frampton diary, and he was a World War I veteran from Huntington. And so his diary tells of his time in France and uh, the tactics his unit took and the things he had to learn to be a soldier in France. Nobody else has that. We have it. The local histories and genealogies that Morrow Library collects makes it a valuable resource for projects related to local or Appalachian history. These people here in this library are, are they are experts on West Virginia. And I think what you would find by talking to any of them is that they are very excited about what our history is at Marshall and what the history is in the state and in this region. And I think that um, anyone that's interested in history or just doesn't realize what we have, there's a lot of gems here. One of the things that makes Morrow Library unique is that it holds more than just books. It's home to a number of special collections, including the Rosanna Blake Library of Confederate History, which has attracted researchers from all over the country to explore its weapons, portraits, toys, sculptures, and photos, all dating back to the Civil War. Morrow is also home to the WSAZ TV News Film Archive, including both film and audio tapes, both of which can be viewed in the Media Lab. We are doing our best to preserve the history here for future generations and for the people that are here right now. There is always a new collection or a new box of materials coming into the library, but its staff always has time for students. It's just refreshing to see everybody who might be working, the, the circulation desks, all the librarians, just get up and say, let me help you with that, or let's see if we have this and I can help you with that. So don't be afraid to enter the stacks. If you've got a project, if you've got a question, if you just have an interest in history, Morrow Library is waiting for you. Brian Leonard, you heard.